Taiwan Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. 7th Fleet confirmed that the USS Mustin sailed through the Taiwan Strait. The Mustin sailed through the strait from north to south and continued southward, the ministry said, while showing an image released by the U.S. of the warship during its passage. The U.S. warship performed a general navigation mission through the strait in Taiwan's military, using joint intelligence and surveillance monitored movements in nearby waters and airspace, it said. The USS Ronald Reagan strike group entered the South China Sea and neared waters east of the Pradas Islands. In the previous week, the next day, a U.S. Air Force B-1B bomber took off from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam and at one point approached China's air defense identification zone over the East China Sea. Chinese state media has released footage of the country's latest weapon, a 1,100 pounds munitions dispenser and air-to-surface stealth missile. It can drop up to 240 sub-munitions to destroy ground targets across 64,000 square feet. The weapon, known as the Sky Thunder, is a precision-guided, modular and multifunctional munition. It has a square cross-section which can not only increase its explosive load but also help it dodge radar detection. The missile has a pair of folding wings towards the back, and they can provide the weapon with extra lift. Sky Thunder has a range of more than 60 kilometers, which means soldiers can deploy it at a farther distance from the enemy. With the help of the dispenser, fighter jets would be able to attack targets without having to penetrate the enemy zone. India is now finally going to seal the long-pending around $1 billion deal to acquire two more Falcon airborne warning and control system aircraft from Israel, which has been derailed at least a couple of times in the past due to the high costs involved. The acquisition of the two AWACS, with the Israeli Falcon early warning radar system mounted on Russian Ilyushin 76 heavy lift aircraft is all set to get the final nod from the Cabinet Committee on Security after extensive inter-ministerial consultations. The two new Falcon AWACS, which will add to the three such aircraft inducted by the IAF in 2009-2011 under a $1.1 billion contract, will be delivered in three to four years. The ongoing military confrontation with China in eastern Ladakh has further reinforced the operational requirement. AWACS or AWNC aircraft are critical in modern warfare because they can detect and track incoming fighters, cruise missiles and drones much before ground-based radars, direct friendly fighters during air combat with enemy jets and keep tabs on enemy troop buildups and movement of warships. India currently has just three Falcon AWACS, with a 400-kilometer range in 360-degree coverage, and two indigenous Netra AEW and C aircraft, with indigenous 240-degree coverage radars with a 250-kilometer range fitted on smaller Brazilian and Brau 145 jets. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.